Hi everybody, it's Nadia Rowe and I'm bringing to you my lipstick declutter. A lot will be going. So what I'm going to do here is pull them out and stack them in my trays. So... So guys, this is, it is a true gold sheen. All these metallics and golds that are coming out, this has been out for donkeys. They say that lipstick is a... Uh, you're supposed to get rid of it after two years. This was back in the day, she says, when you didn't have literally any, like 24 months, two years, anything on it. I mean, or on about uh, price, not prices, how long things are supposed to last. last. This is just a good example. If I didn't know how long I had this, um, say Ella came in and tried it, nothing would happen. Because at the end of the day, it smells nice, not funky, it wears. But because I know how old it is, I wouldn't have picked it, but it's just been in my makeup collection. So I am going to get rid of it now and this guys is just slats that you put together so I do it for anything um, I've just done it for my lipsticks at the minute start off with these two Kiko ones um, these are the click ones and I might keep that one as well because that's gorgeous this is a Lux, this is from Avon, I've had this a while so it smells fine just not my colour so this is the City Colour City Chic and I like the fact that you can see the colour at the bottom I wish all lipsticks came like that so we've got some more Kiko ones here. This is... So, I'm not going to wear that. Or that. Old Barbie pink. I must have been right in the right frame of mind when I bought these. Nice. Just not something that I'd wear. No. So they can go. And these are again numbers. So we've got. I might actually put that one to try. In on it. Must have been in the right weird frame of mind when I bought these. That's a nice purple. Going to keep that one. Oh, so, if people can pull it off, pull it off, but I can't. So, right. Cat Von D's. As I said, I don't like the formula on Kat Von D's at all. Um, but 
but I love them three colours. So what I might actually do, rather than saying no, I'm going to test them. <laughs> this is a funny one. Bright, bright pink. Would never wear it. But just look. That is just cuteness. I just... But I'm never going to wear it. <laughs> so... That can go on lipsticks from the Nails Ink, and this is stunning. I just, I love that. I really do. So, keeping that. Out. Let's get them out so I can see. See, this has gone dead frosty. But it smells fine. Don't even think it's been swatched. Are oh, they supposed to go frosty? Well, this one's gone frosty as well. And these are only a year old, guys. Oh my god. That one's gone frosty. And that one's gone frosty. So, but they smell fine. Nah, I wouldn't wear that, so, but I'm not going to put that in the donations because that's just wrong. Um, I'm keeping this nude, she says, this nudie one. So I, I don't know, because it comes off, but it's like a glitter. Can anybody tell me what you'd do with that? So, let's see if I like the colours, because if I like the colours. See, that's gorgeous. So, I might have to sort of do a sanitation job on them. That one, no. I know. So I put them in the rubbish pile because I wouldn't pass them on, it's not fair. I tell you now I'm not getting rid of any of my Macs. So I've got Teddy, I've got Finally Free, which was Kate Jenner's Velvet Teddy. Stone Parisian, I think it's called. Frost Studded Kiss. Um Bobby Brown, I got these just before Christmas, so they are staying. Mons are staying. I've got the legend and the domination so at the moment i'm just picking out what i know i'm not definitely not getting rid of another mac one yeah you just can't see so i'm not getting rid of the plushes these are actually full size so anyway, that's going in the bin. This is the extra lasting one. Even back in the day, I love my movies. I'm not getting rid of it. I'm just not. So this one is Ravishing Rose. Oh, that's stunning. So, and I like the fact that I can see through the top. Yeah, get rid of that one. I bought this from Avon. 
which is now called Mark for some strange reason. And this is from Eva. These don't actually have like the 24 months on them. No lipstick does. So where do people get the 24 from? I'm looking at them. I don't know. Who said these last two years? Let me check my Mac ones. No, they don't. The way I was always taught that, I don't want this one anyway. The way that I was taught with lipsticks is if it smells bad and it's gone funky like them geroid, these ones, then Gerald Cosmetics but seriously I've had this two years no longer no longer than two years and then you get this she says then you get this one that's probably over 15 years old and that's being honest over 15 year old and I'm like, which one would you really weird the one with all the fluffy white crystals on or the one that looks normal they both smell normal but one that looks funky or the one that doesn't i don't understand my lipstick i, I really don't so for me until i think no that this because this is like 15 years old um if not longer uh so yeah <laughs> sorry for that rant but i i just i don't understand it so this one is gorgeous keeping this said if i was if i like the color i would keep it but i'm not too keen on that so i will bin it i'm not giving that to somebody else these are my nostalgic ones Nah, and this is the colour, number 205 L'Oreal, it's called Sexy Plum, and this was my, really was the lipstick that I wore, yeah, this is the, uh, the one that I wore. 99% of the times that I wore lipstick so and this still smells good for nostalgic reasons that's the only reason why I won't get rid of it so I'm keeping this and everybody's gonna be going eh that's like 20 years old <laughs> it's probably about 18 but um yeah I just loved this colour for nostalgia reasons that's why I'm keeping it I'm keeping my mark these are liquid mattes these are so comfortable to wear guys really nice they stay on your lips well obviously but these are gorgeous gorgeous colours so I am keeping these and I'm gonna put them in to my little one because I didn't realise they were liquid lipstick these are the bonjour ones and again I'm keeping them I love them this is the freedom lipstick so we've got another L'Oreal one I think it is this is old so this is being got, gotten rid of so this is in true power i've never used it but i'm still going to keep that one because that i like the looks of that so i've got a number seven. Oh, that's pretty i do like that pillow box yeah I'm keeping that one 
oh fashion fair one this is just like a balmy one i might actually put that in the try one then i've got elizabeth arden one in rose now that is beautiful that really is nice and i've got this one <laughs> can't read the name of it it's from a subscription box gold so that can go this mdm flu my lips but better i like that color but i'm not gonna wear it so another freedom one that's too light for my tone my two revlon ultra hd matte color i am keeping so to be honest with you i don't even think i'm gonna swatch them because i like them all and i only bought them recently so definitely keeping them i am will 100 keeping my nyx lingeries i've got the nyx cosmic metals i'm keeping which is them two and a liquid suede so i'm definitely keeping all of them avon one this is old guys i'm just gonna get rid of it i'm definitely keeping my mac i've literally worn this once and it's gorgeous raspberry color so, yeah no i'm not i'm just not gonna use it so i'm gonna put that in the bin because they're just i don't know why they can say the metal so i'm going to put this one in to try apple cosmetics nice nude ultra shine liquid lipstick so i'm going to keep that one the lord and berry in lip and cheek crayon i'm just going to get rid of this i really do but you click it once and <laughs> do not click no more because you end up with it sticking out and you can't actually click it back in so the system's sort of faulty but i only bought the one when i bought my other one so keeping it getting rid of the kylie ones I knew there was another Kylie, so I'm getting rid of my three Kylies. Don't like them, never gonna wear them. The metallics from Milani, no. Um, Bunny Swans uh, offers, I'm keeping them because I like them two shades. Keeping my bare minerals, this is in Friendship, so. No, I'm keeping that. Definitely keeping my L'Oreal because I like this. This is the only colour I like out of the collection. I'm keeping my Bobbi Brown High Shine. So I'm keeping my Smashbox uh, metals because these are gorgeous and suit me really well. This is a Barry M Map Me Up in think liquid paint i've never used it i don't doubt i'll ever will i don't even think i've swatched it no i haven't so that can go next jumbo lip pencil it's such a nice color no so i'm going to get rid of that one head baker 
it's I might test that one out because that looks like my lips but better I haven't tried this sexy mother pucker so that is going into the try pile um this smashbox one i'm just i'm not gonna wear it i'm keeping my tart one as well I'm keeping me, me two normal milani ones i've got precious and love in 11 and 12 beautiful and they are nice to wear these elf pencil sort of lipstick things i don't know what you want me to call them That one's not even been used and if you look at the end it's like pink and then if you look uh, on the opposite end it looks purple so really weird um yeah i haven't got these fair enough go i've not long opened them i have got another one in wine so i need to try them Gerald Cosmetics these are so nice for gels um for I don't like that colour I can get rid of that for glosses and they're so opaque I don't like one either so I'll just keep them two to the problem because I just the brand new lipsticks is actually a this one here is a white lipstick it's called pleasant pink um this can actually go as a yeah it's a tinted lip balm so i'm just going to put that in my lip balm collection i'm going to get rid of these two color trends don't think i'll use the natural gold on this at all uh but the golden wine i might do this one which is plum dazzle more because none of them are open and they're brand new i just thought i'd do my lip balms and product lips so for starters i know i'm getting rid of these w7 kisses they are extremely old this is the avon and i love this in fact <laughs> This is an empty one. One here. Yeah. Oh, I think that's gone off. So that's definitely going in the bin. These Carmex. That's brand new. And that's brand new. And these are gorgeous. Really are gorgeous. But at the moment I'm using the ones that I've got so I am definitely keeping these these are lip balms and I always like to keep a lip balm and date as well I'm getting rid of this I do not like it at all um I just really don't I've not used this one, I threw the one away that I used, but I know I don't like it, so that is definitely going to someone else. This is from Arrow Boost. No. Don't it's not moisturizing, so that can go. I'm going to get rid of this uh one. These two can go because as you can see i've got enough lip balms i don't need all of them i'm keeping my kate because that is a nice lip balm i've got the mango oil lip balm 
I'm going to get rid of that one because I have got the strawberry one from the body shop and this Laura Geller lip tint that will be nice as a thick moisturiser for night time no I've not tried it um, so not going to get rid of it it's a pixie one these elf conditioning lip balms I've tried that one and that one um, but I can't remember so what I'm going to do is actually put these into try because I can't remember if I liked them or not so it'll be worth putting in my to try pile I'm just checking this a new one because obviously the last one was fostered over no that's perfectly good so these are really good for conditioning your lips I do like them lip sorbet it's a scrub lip scrub so that can stay in there this is the sugar lip scrub all natural um i haven't used this i can get rid of some marks then we're all right so let's see not too bad i think i'll keep that because i've only got two lip scrubs Plus me elf ones. Super, super stay 24 hour bold matte. It's not been used. This needs to be in my lipsticks. And keeping the antioxidant lip balm, the Bella Bamba. These I wear at night. These are the ones that, even though these have got colour in them, and I will just saturate my lips like that. And in the morning, I, my lips feel like really, really nice. So I'm keeping both of them. In with the Balance Me One. See, although it says lip gloss, this is too thick for a lip gloss for me. So I would use this again at night. And this one is the Lenio lips and rid of that one and then obviously this lip balm I'm not getting rid of so I know I didn't get rid of a lot but it's another lip part done these are all my lips liners and you're gonna be like I'm not actually throwing any of these away um, lip liners to me were or have been a new thing so these aren't old at all these are literally like I did sort through them beforehand because I knew for a fact this would be way too long and um, these are the colours that I'm getting rid of and basically it was a case of like they were all repeats of colours that I've already got yeah I'm getting rid of these I forgot to mention in me uh, eyeshadow declutter these ones are actually these ones are actually going to go into the bin because they are old so that's it guys so I'm holding you on the tripod sorry so I've actually got rid of 149 lips products so these are what is basically in the bag that will go so as you can see there's a lot these will definitely go to a good home I will also let you know about the ones on the to keep pile there's not a lot so I might just do it in uh, like my monthly favourites so because obviously I'll be trying them out again um, I've not counted the eyeliners so which there is two, four, 
five. So technically that would be items I've got rid of. And that's a lot, a lot, a lot of products. If you enjoyed this video, then um, I might have to split this into two videos because it's taken hours. If I have to, I will let you know. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. And if you do, then see you guys in my next video. Bye.